What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. I'm late, let's go buy some product. So if you don't have any liquidators near you, I don't. I live in the Midwest, this is a Southern business. There is nobody for a long ways. Don't be afraid to just get on a plane and go to a liquidator. I'm flying across the country today to buy pallets. <clears throat> now my flight, I don't live in a big city. Flights are expensive, it's like a $500 flight. Uh, rental car, hotel room, I'm spending like 800 bucks here. But if I'm spending 10, 15, 20 grand on a truckload, 800 bucks is a drop in the bucket. Just spend the money, you can pick out the stuff. You can only see so much in pictures. You can't see it, you can see it much better when you're up close, looking at the pallet, even digging through a little bit. So it makes sense to go there and see it in person. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I've done this before. I usually make this flight once every month or two uh, and pick up my pallets. Plus, a nice change of scenery. It's Memorial Weekend right now. So I'm actually, normally I would fly down this morning. It's five, well, it's like 4.45 right now. My flight is gonna start boarding in about 15 minutes. But I'm at Green Bay's Airport Hair Care and Tire Center, so security is very quick. Anyways, 5.30, take off, do my stuff, and then get on an evening flight, be back home for dinner. It's normally what I do, but it's Memorial Weekend. So I'm gonna take in some scenery and enjoy it, but that is not going to be part of this video. I'm gonna relax this weekend. Today's a work day though, so I'll be you know, at this warehouse. My flight lands at nine, I'll get there around 10, and um, you know, spend five, six hours there, and then I'm done. This store was privately owned and they've been here for like 50 years and they're retiring. It's kind of sad. A oh, big chain bought them out. So here's a travel tip. Spend extra on your rental car. I went through Enterprise. I'm sure others are like this, but instead of getting the cheap one, I spent an extra 40 bucks and I did not need to wait in line. Well, other people are gonna wait like an hour and a half in line, trust me, I've done it. I swipe my card on the kiosk, my driver's license, and then I come over here, and literally, I pick whatever car I want. The keys are in each one. So which one looks the most fun? I don't know, they both look pretty neat. Let's go with the Toyota. Probably better gas mileage. So I'm looking at these, these are Home Depot pallets, but it's just hardware and tools, no plumbing, which is nice. 1200 each, really tempting on these. I might grab a couple. So I'm making my list here. I've got a whole bunch of stuff. We're up to 10,075 bucks, uh, 19 pallets, but one does take up two pallet spaces. So it's 20 pallet spaces on the truck so far. So I've got 30 pallets for, hold on, hold on. It's actually 29, one's a double pallet. 15,600 bucks. I'm excited about some of these. This is the one I'm most excited about. 1,500 bucks on Milwaukee stuff. Looks like a good amount of tools in here. So that was one warehouse. <clears throat> They've got another warehouse about an hour away that I'm gonna drive down. Um, just to meet, I know one of the people who works there, he watches me on video, um, he watches my videos. Um, I doubt, I'm definitely not gonna be able to fit anything else on this truck. It's 2,500 bucks for freight, so I'm probably not gonna be buying another truck, but you never know. You never know. This place is huge. It's like, I think he said 150,000 square feet. And there's a lot of stuff. But now, I'm gonna get to my hotel. I'm tired. So this is the last one you will see of me until this stuff comes to the warehouse in a couple of weeks and we'll go through it. So I'm staying in a hotel here. I wanna show you this room. I picked a real winner. 
First off, apparently expensive to stay at right now. This is 90 bucks. When I got here, I found that they also charge a $25 service fee per day. So I'm expecting like the Taj Mahal. It wasn't. The lobby wasn't much better. The lobby, look at, <laughs> the lobby looked like, um, oh, there's a couple leaks up there I can see. It looked like they tried to make it nice, kind of like this floor here, which just hasn't been clean in forever, kind of like whatever that is. But when I walked in the room, also it does not smell good in here. I was greeted by this. Open window, no screen or anything. <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know why it's so expensive this weekend. I mean, it is Memorial weekend, but wowza. Oh, they also sell smokes at the front desk. Only one brand though, Newports, which they probably just bought at the gas station down the road and they're selling for like more here. They sell a lot of like shampoo and stuff. I think there's a lot of long-term residents here, like weekly rates and whatnot. It's all Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree brands in their little store area. I didn't look at the prices, but I'm sure they're selling for like four or five bucks. Oh, I'm gonna get scabies. On the bright side, my room does have a fridge. And it's cold in here. They have not cleaned this fridge, but it is cold. So the hot bottles of water in the car can go in here. And it seems like the AC does work. Maybe that'll get the smell out of here. This is a non-smoking room, by the way. They put me in a smoking room originally, and I told them to or ask them to switch me to a non-smoking. I always like to check the edges of the bed. I'm gonna go under here for bed bugs. The bed is wrapped in plastic. <laughs> well, it's just one night. It's like the gift that keeps on giving. I keep finding, look at this door. I keep finding stuff. I keep finding more stuff. That's my smoke detector. So I'm just getting to work here. It's Friday, exactly a week later, and the truck's waiting for me. This is the definition of hanging out by a thread. Well, we are just jam up full here now. Um, we're missing a pallet. It's a pallet that I bought like six months ago and they keep forgetting to send me. But they did send me an extra pallet of air compressors. I didn't pay for these. Technically, I didn't pay for anything yet because he hasn't invoiced me yet. Um, but this is not on my list. So I'm gonna see if he wants those back. Otherwise, I got a free pallet of air compressors. I'm not paying for them because I already, I bought two others. So I've got my list here. I went down and made sure everything else was here, everything else was accurate. I took a picture of every single pallet, which was helpful because we'll take a walk over here. They had to unstack some of these to fit them all in the truck, and this was one of them. So this stuff was on other pallets, and since I had a photo, I knew what was on it. It doesn't really matter. It's just kind of for this video so you see everything that's here. Additionally, there were four air compressors, my second air compressor pallet that they just threw on top of stuff. Um, so let's start over there. Take a walk out here. This also was on that pallet that I just showed you, but it's almost guaranteed broken and probably can get thrown away if it's broken. I don't see any damage in here, but I mean, odds are this is broken. So Husky air compressors. I've got these three and these are big ones. I paid, hold on. This is the only one that's not on a pallet, so I couldn't write down the number on it. Uh, 350 bucks. This big one, these two small ones, this one's missing a wheel. Uh, the returns, don't know if they work or not. Don't know if he works or not. Nope. Uh, and then there's one more that we just didn't take off the pallet that it was on, so there were four of them. But this fourth one is probably junk. Uh, there it is over there. On top of this, the reason I say it's probably junk is because the compressor is detached from the tank. Maybe it's still fine, you can reattach it. I don't know, I haven't looked at it, but I paid 350 bucks 
for all four of those. Uh, then we've got this one, number 17. I paid 500 bucks for it. It's a double pallet. Ignore the stuff leaning on it. Uh, there's three tires, brand new tires. It's kind of a shame, but I'm probably gonna have to toss them because they're three different tires. Um, you know, maybe someone will take it for free to make a tire swing or a garden or something. Three brand new tires, but because they don't match, no one's gonna buy one tire. Additionally, I didn't look too close on here, but there's a wider power tower, one of those things you do like pull-ups on. This is a swing set with a jungle gym and like a clubhouse and a slide. Tim bought this exact same model like two and a half weeks ago. So it's kind of amusing, but that's probably about 300 bucks or so. We've got a dresser. Um, I think we've got more long boxes on the back here. Uh, I can't really get to it. We've got stuff in the way. We've got, let's see, cordless stick vacuum. I don't know what this is. Uh, looks like laundry baskets with the retractable handles. Here we've got seasonal hardware. It's a gas fire pit, portable gas fire pit. What's in here? Looks like just a bunch of random stuff. Oh, pots and pans, no, kettles, a whole bunch of kettles. And this, more kettles, so a bunch of brand new kettles. Those will do well in the sale. Uh, drives, so some mobility item there. Can't get back here to look. This one says bedding. Uh, let's see, floral comforter set. So I think this one is pretty good at 500. Now this, I actually bought this primarily for the display. Look at that nice display here. It'd be great for the sale if we have stuff that we need to hang, like wind chimes or something. Uh, it was 350 bucks and it's just rugs. Whole bunch of different rugs. Looks like they came out of Walmart uh, and a boot tray. I'll probably make a little profit on here. I don't see why I can't. Some of these are bigger rugs. Um, you know, maybe the bigger ones I get 50 bucks each. The smaller ones I get 10 to 25 each. I think it'll do all right on this, but it was mainly for this thing. And that fell off of another pallet. It was on the truck. That wasn't part of it. Uh, what else? Let's go down the list. These Home Depot pallets, these I showed you, you saw when we were there. Um, these were 1200 bucks each. And it's basically tools and hardware. They took the plumbing and electrical stuff. Here's another one, a nice level on it. These were stacked and they didn't stack well, but I did ask him to stack them. Uh, level might be damaged. I can't tell if that's just the packaging. Because that looks like a hang tag that's actually damaged. Yeah, level's perfectly fine. Maybe a couple of scuffs, but undamaged otherwise. You can see I'm not holding it level. Uh, what else is in here? Rolls of tape. Looks like fancy painter's tape. Pole saws, hand saws, there's a, a hitch, coupler I think it's called, all sorts of stuff. And here's the third one, another large level and just stuff. Uh, looks like framing nails, I know those aren't cheap, duct tape, Velcro, uh, giant, wow, look at this hammer. It is not heavy at all, but it is huge. I feel like giant hammers like this should be heavy. I'm assuming that means it's 14 ounces. So these three, I mean like these toe straps and screwdriver set, these are going to be fantastic for the sale. There's probably gonna be about four to 600 bucks in eBay stuff on them too. Black & Decker hammer drill. I didn't realize Home Depot even sold Black & Decker. Uh, this is gonna be great for the sale. There's probably gonna be four to 600 on each of these for eBay. But I mean, stuff like this. These are probably 10, 15 bucks in the store. We'll probably get five in the sale. Big flashlight, a fancy wrench that I don't know what it's used for. All right, moving on. Uh, next, we've got this one. This is number 12. I paid 300 bucks for it. There is, I think this is a vanity. I don't know what this big box is. We've got this big cobalt wheelbarrow, uh, three ceiling fans, but you actually might be able to see the back. 
a craftsman toolbox, like a, the top of a set, or it would go on a table or workbench. And then just a whole bunch of different stuff. Cobalt, looks like another air compressor, pressure washer, all sorts of fun stuff on here. I thought this one was the one that was just loaded with ceiling fans, but that must be a different one. Uh, next, we've got number 14. Uh, furniture. I paid 450 bucks for this. We've got a lift chair. We've got another recliner here. And this box down here is probably a third recliner. As well as some other stuff in the back. That's probably parts for this chair. Uh, or this chair. Maybe, maybe that's also a lift chair. I don't know. Uh, looks like a big cabinet. I don't know what this long box is. Uh, another tall box in the back. Whole bunch of furniture here. 450 bucks. Number nine right here. And by the way, I'm going in, the numbers are what are on my sheet here. Um, you can see I wrote them on here. This is an Amazon Premiums palette. I've never bought one of these before. Um, it should be 5,900 retail. My cost is 1,250. And you're looking at the backside where it's big stuff. Uh, there's a lot of small, good stuff on the front. Uh, tools, cameras. What is this? Electric toothbrush. Um, I don't know what that is. Some of the ones that I saw had laptops. One had a Nintendo Switch on it. There's a nail gun. So I'm thinking a lot of this stuff is going to end up on eBay. A pair of really nice boots. These will probably sit until winter time. Mobile scanner. What is this? Some sort of Bluetooth speaker. I don't know what this thing is, but it looks like a fancy box. I will probably go through this one in its own separate video. Two-way speaker, beverage cooler, toaster oven, uh, some Breville thing. That's a high-end brand. Um, so that's this one. I'll probably make a video just going through this palette. Number 13 here is an Amazon. I paid 550 bucks for it. It's different than that Amazon. Um, and I'm looking at the back side of it. I don't remember what I saw on the front side. I think these are two... Yeah, two large griddles. Uh, looks like a gas grill, a chainsaw, gun boot and mount, whatever that is. Uh, there's a large pressure washer on the other side. Just a whole bunch of stuff. I feel like this is some good value at five fifty. Now this one, I don't know what I paid for. I saw this at the second warehouse. He had a truckload of these, and I said, "Hey, if you can make it work, throw one of these on too." So I don't know what he's going to charge me for it, but this is overstock. I think it's all Walmart. I think it's all just a mix of stuff. We've got sheets. We've got screwdriver sets, toasters, toys, a heater, just all sorts of different stuff. I would imagine he's probably going to charge me like three, four hundred bucks for that. It is all overstock. 21 here. Uh, let's see. I paid 350 bucks. This is for the warehouse sale. It's all Walmart. You can see there's some toys here, um, just household items, just random stuff. There might be an eBay item or two in here, but it's primarily for the warehouse sale. And I paid, did I say what I paid? 350 bucks. This one here, 25, I paid, that's not 25. Why is this label as 25? Um, interesting. Because 25 is one of the Home Depot pallets. Hold on, let me look at my notes. All right, I know why I labeled this as 25 because I couldn't read my handwriting. Uh, it's number 28, but my eight apparently looks like a five on my sheet. So anyways, I paid 275 bucks for this. It came from Lowe's. It's got this Craftsman bagger, a heater, a couple of fans. Um, let's climb over here. We've got this nice set of uh, sawhorses, a uh, big, paint sprayer here and the main reason i bought it was because there's a big electric fireplace on the bottom and tim's looking for one of those so i figure i suppose that's kind of an electric fireplace too but there's a fancy one on the bottom on the other side which i can't show you because it's the other side but i figure i could sell that to him if it works and then the rest of it i could make a little bit of money on what is in this box christmas tree stand so a lot of the heaters and stuff, you'll see there are a couple more heaters on other pallets. We're just going to save for Christmas time. All right, over here, this is number 11. I paid 300 bucks for this, and this is an ugly one. 
Um, I probably wouldn't have bought it if it weren't for this. I opened this up in the store. All right. I'll show you what this is. A really fancy laser level. If I remember right, I thought, I figured I was gonna basically break even on this thing alone on eBay. I think it was probably like 400 bucks or 350 or something like that. So I'll sell this on eBay and everything else on this pallet was free. Um, you know, there's a bunch of toilet seats. There's a bathroom uh, shelving unit, light fixture, some garden hoses. I think I'll do well on this just because of that. It should sell pretty fast. And again, I paid, hold on. 11 300 bucks uh this one here number three i paid 200 bucks and i bought this because of this craftsman truck box um the box says damage somewhere right there but i looked it over and could not find any damage so if it is damaged it's fairly minimal um i looked top and bottom everything that i could see you know i was you can see i broke oh there it is i think might be a little dented. That might be by design. It almost looks like it's cut open. Oh, a forklift went through it. Well, that's easy to pound out. Um, I keep forgetting what I tell you what I paid for this. I paid $200. Um, we get two fireplaces, nicer ones, or space heaters. Uh, I probably get $40, $50 bucks each for these come winter time. Nice chunky blanket. This is not part of it. Remember, this was from a separate one um what else there are two toilets on here that are almost guaranteed broken toilets are almost always broken but if for some reason they're not there's some value in those also the lid i can usually sell those on ebay when they're broken if the lid isn't broken and the toilet seat will go in the sale and i'll get five ten bucks uh this one over here 23 i paid 150 bucks it's got this outdoor gas fire pit, which I'm kind of banking on that being in good shape because that's my profit. We got a big craftsman shelving unit here. I would imagine this is probably 30 bucks or so. Hose reel, I don't know, 15 bucks ish. And then a brand new tiller here. This might be a hundred bucks. So these three things will probably be about break even. And if that's in good shape, it's my profit. Worst case, this is junk and I broke even on the pallet. Here we got either a pallet number 16 or two. Two. Uh, I paid 275 bucks for this one. Um, and mostly just because it's full. We got a space heater there, some nicer light fixtures, another heater. This, I'm assuming this is a string trimmer, garage lights. These always sell really fast. We got some doorknobs. I just think there's gonna be a lot of stuff in this one. Uh, here's a craftsman, probably a yard tool um let's see string trimmer i think there's gonna be some good value in here in volume um i think this one was worth the 275 i paid for it now over here number four i paid 200 bucks for this we've got two bathroom vanities this one you can see a picture of it looks really nice um and then this one we don't know what it looks like oh there's a picture on this side uh looks like a farmhouse sink it's very possible these are junk, especially how this one's taped up. We've also got a deck box, uh, which is probably a hundred bucks. This is a four drawer rolling tool cabinet. That's probably a hundred bucks. I don't know, probably get 10 bucks for that. So the vanities, usually vanities have some sort of issues, but they're still usually usable. So I can still get a few bucks out of them. Over here, this is number 10 and I paid $1,000 for it. This is all air conditioners. So, you know, it's just starting to get hot out here in Green Bay. One, two, three. There's three window units, two portable units. That's probably another portable unit. That's just one side here. I think I'm gonna do pretty well on these, you know, around a hundred bucks each, maybe 200 for the portables. It looks like we got some mini splits though. I don't know. Heat pump, air conditioner. These mini splits could end up being Pretty valuable though. I didn't even see those. I think I was on the other side when I took the picture or when I was, you know, when I bought it. Um, I'm gonna, this, that thing looks really old. Maybe I'm wrong. Now, one thing when you're buying air conditioners, you need them to sit upright before you turn them on for about a day or two. So, those like this one, these are sitting upright. So, these are fine to test right away. 
but that one down there is upside down. So I'm gonna stand it upright and leave it for, I don't know, maybe a week or so to let the oil settle down in it before I plug it in. Same with any of these on their side. Here's what the other side of the pallet looks like. This looks like a fancy one. White goods. This thing looks so old. I don't know. Oh, this is probably the exterior unit for that mini split. That's why it doesn't look all fancy because it's made to go outside, not inside like this. Um, so anyways, thousand bucks for that. I should double up. I think some of these will go really well. I mean, if I can get 300 bucks a piece for those two, that's over half my money back. And the mini split, I would assume would probably be in that range. All right, anyways, moving on. This is, my numbers are on the other side of these pallets. Um, it's a Home Depot plumbing pallet, which I paid 450 bucks for. I guess I don't need the number because I remember that. Um, there's a whole bunch of just stuff in here. This had one of those other Home Depot pallets stacked on it as well. Um, but things like this. This is brand new, factory sealed, something Kohler. Toilet paper holder, this will probably end up on eBay. Um, you know, little things like these often go on eBay, the Moen products. Uh, these are a case full of shark bite ball valves. Uh, shark bite to compression, I think. No, not compression, threaded. Um, I think this is probably gonna be a $40 box on eBay. Uh, so once we get through this stuff, you know, the pro packs, stuff like this are probably decent on eBay. So once we'll go through this for eBay um, and the rest of it, we're just gonna burn off in the warehouse sale. Next, we've got number, number one, I think that's my number. 250 bucks. Yep, we got this portable shop vac. I had one of these on another load that I sold. It was broken. It was brand new, but did not turn on. And I still got like 60 bucks for it. Um, so if that works, I would imagine that might pay for the whole pallet. But also we've got some heaters, uh, a bar stool, ceiling fans. Looks like two ceiling fans, a Craftsman stainless shop vac, a portable AC. Uh, this is a toy brand. Uh, no, it's not. It's a mailbox, so they must just do like plastics. It's a fancy plastic mailbox, a kerosene heater. Um, I think this will do well at my 250. Uh, this one here, where's my number? 27. That's gonna be the other page. 27. I paid 450 bucks for this, and we've got fancy microwave. Fancy microwave that looks like an old TV. Fancy microwave, there's another fancy microwave below it. Um, these microwaves, I bought one similar to this. Uh, mine's a GE, so it's not this one. And I paid, I think, like 350 bucks. I sell this for 150. I sell the other one for 150. I've made my money back, and then I've got a whole bunch of other stuff here, like this. Oh, this is another one of those. These are weird microwaves, look at this. For some reason, they put their food on top of the microwave, but this looks like a TV from the 90s. Or, or older, I suppose. I grew up in the 90s, so it would be the 90s for me. Um, we've got hydrogen peroxide wipes. That'll just go on the sale. All right, this pallet here, number five, I paid 300 bucks for it. And this is another one that just looked like some volume. I mean, this is probably 100 bucks on eBay. We've got some light fixtures. We've got some Craftsman power tools, a paint sprayer, um, power yard tools, I mean. Just a whole, there's a pull-down kitchen faucet right there, which looks, sounds pretty loose in the box. I think this one is just another one of those bulk volume type deals. All right, this one over here, number 20. I paid 350 bucks for it. A lot of Ziploc bags, just household stuff. This is primarily going to be stuff for the warehouse sale. Um, as well as some bigger items on the side here. When I bought it, I didn't even know these were here. I saw them when we, we unloaded the truck. And I think that box on top of there came off of this pallet. I don't know what's on it. All right, number six here. I paid 450 bucks. It's a bunch of air compressors. Uh, 450 bucks. Mostly smaller ones, but there are some bigger ones in here. Um, I don't know. There's one, two, three, four, five six seven i bet there's 10 air compressors in here so my cost will be about 45 bucks each 
And this is the one that I didn't buy, so I don't know, some big ones in there. And I believe that's everything. I think I went through it. Oh, no, we got two more left. Uh, pallet of rugs here. I paid 350 bucks for it. I am just going to drop this pallet on the floor for the warehouse sale, 10 bucks each. I think a lot of these will move just right out of the pallet. And the most expensive one of the day, 1500 for this one. And you already saw this one on the other video. Milwaukee stuff. We got a bag of Milwaukee tools here. We got a bag of Milwaukee tools there. We've got a bag here, some falling out down there. Uh, more in this one. Here's an angle grinder. Some more in here. Some more, wow, whatever that is, pretty big. What is that thing? Uh, whatever it is, it looks like it might be broken. Air compressor, maybe? Transfer pump, M18 transfer pump. Oh, good. Here's the 12 volt battery. I'm just gonna pop it in one of these so it doesn't get lost. And it looks like this works. This one's pretty heavily used. Uh, there's a charger down here, so I'm hoping to find an 18 volt battery as well so I can test these things. But here's another bag of tools. We've got uh, another grinder. A uh, bunch more tools down here. There is so much stuff in here. This is a vacuum or just a toolbox. I think it's a vacuum. Uh, and then we've got, assuming the rest of it's here, a backpack vacuum. Although this might be the rest of it. I don't think so. This is just a vacuum, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, what else? Here's another bag that was hiding. This one feels like it might just be a bag. Uh, we got hole saws. We've got another charger. A whole bunch of chargers, actually. There's some more bags down here. Bit sets, hole saws. I mean, this thing, I own this hole saw. It's like 50 or 60 bucks at the Home Depot. I'm really hoping to find battery in here 12 or an 18 volt so i can test these things there we go sockets looks like it's missing one probably the 10 millimeter it's not but that's what you would think would be missing that might be a battery down on the bottom there oh i can't reach Try to get creative here. What is this? Red lithium USB. I think it's just a USB charger. Milwaukee USB charger. Probably a couple of bucks. Um, so I think this is going to be a great pallet for 1500 I think I'm going to go through this one on its own video as well. So... That is a mouthful. Um, that is this load. I paid, I told you earlier, actually it's on my sheet. I remember where I just set down my clipboard. There we go. I paid 15,600 bucks um, plus whatever that Walmart pallet ends up being to add that on. Let's just say 400 bucks, 16,000. It was about 2500 and some change for freight, about 800 for my flight, rental car, hotel room. I'm not adding this stuff up in my head, so hopefully you are. I'm happy with it. I'm excited to move through this stuff, and it's all going to be gone in a few weeks. Uh, warehouse sale is July 7th through the 17th. By the end of that, all of this will be gone. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to lay down for a little bit.